In this video, we have to prove that n by 3 whole power n is less than n factorial less than n by 2 whole power n, where n is greater than or equal to 6 and n is an integer. So we use induction to prove these type of inequalities. But if you can see, then we have n by 3 and n by 2 and between 2 and 3, there is a very beautiful number e that is approximately equal to 2.7 and in the expansion of e to the power n, we can get factorial. The expansion of e to the power n, it is equal to 1 plus n by 1 factorial plus n square by 2 factorial plus n cube by 3 factorial and there will be a term n to the power n by n factorial plus so on up to infinity. So in the expansion of e to the power n, we get a term n to the power n by n factorial. So we can say that e to the power n must be greater than n to the power n by n factorial. And now from here we can get n factorial must be greater than n to the power n by e to the power n that will be n by e whole power n and now if we increase the denominator then we can say that it must be greater than n by 3 whole power n so from here we get n by 3 whole power n is less than n factorial. So we proved the first part n by 3 whole power n is less than n factorial. We could also use the induction to prove this. And now we have to prove that n factorial is less than n by 2 whole power n for n greater than or equal to 6 and n is an integer. So I am going to use induction to prove this second part. So, we have n greater than equal to 6 and n is integer and we have to prove that n factorial is less than n by 2 whole power n. So, we have to prove this for n greater than equal to 6. So, in induction, we so that for n is equal to 6 this is true and now we assume that for any n this is true and then we prove that for n plus 1 this will be true. So these are the three steps of induction. So for n is equal to 6, n factorial will be 6 factorial is less than n by 2 whole power n will be 6 by 2 whole power 6 and it will be 6 factorial less than 3 to the power 6 and 6 factorial is 720 less than 3 to the power 6 will be 729 so it is true and now the second step we assume for n let This is true, that is n factorial is less than n by 2 whole power n. n factorial is less than n by 2 whole power n. And now, the third step for n plus 1, we have to prove that for n plus 1, it will be n plus 1 factorial is less than n plus 1 by 2 
1 power n plus 1. So we have to prove this. And now n plus 1 factorial can be written as n plus 1 times n factorial less than n plus 1 by 2 cone power n plus 1 it will be n plus 1 by 2 times n plus 1 by 2 cone power n and now n plus 1 and n plus 1 will get cancelled and we get n factorial is less than 1 by 2 times n plus 1 by 2 cone power n and uh, now we can get n factorial is less than 1 by 2 times 2 to the power n into n plus 1 1 power n and uh, now we have assumed that n factorial is less than n by 2 1 power n so here we can write this as n factorial less than 1 by 2 into 2 to the power n and n plus 1 1 power n can be written as if we take n to the power n common then we get 1 plus 1 by n 1 power n and now if we take n to the power n by 2 to the power n together then we can get n factorial is less than n to the power n by 2 to the power n will be n by 2 whole power n times 1 by 2 times 1 plus 1 by n whole power n and we have n factorial is less than n by 2 whole power n we have assumed that n factorial is less than n by 2 whole power n so here if we can prove that this part is greater than equal to 1 then this will be true because n factorial is less than n by 2 whole power n so basically we have to prove that 1 by 2 times 1 plus 1 by n whole power n is greater than equal to 1 and uh, now we can get 1 by 2 times the expansion of 1 plus 1 by n whole power n will be n c 0 and 1 to the power n will be 1 plus n c 1 and 1 to the power n minus 1 will be 1 times 1 by n plus n c 2 1 by n square and up to n c n 1 by n whole power n greater than equal to 1 and now we can get 1 by 2 times n c 0 is 1 and 1 into 1 will be 1 plus n c 1 is n times 1 by n plus n c 2 1 by n square plus n c n 1 by n to the power n greater than equal to 1 and now n and 1 by n will get cancelled and we get 1 by 2 times 1 plus 1 will be 2 plus n c 2 1 by n square plus up to n c n 1 by n to the power n greater than equal to 1 and 1 by 2 times 2 will be 1 plus 1 by 2 times n c 2 1 by n square plus up to n c n 1 by n to the power n greater than equal to 1 and now 1 plus something it will be greater than 1 so it is proved so by mathematical induction by mathematical induction 
we can claim that n factorial is less than n by 2 whole power n. So we proved n by 3 whole power n is less than n factorial less than n by 2 whole power n.